But it don't drink taste. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Man Drinking Open Container Blow 0, 0.00 RBT. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? We're about to find out. You know, y'all know y'all Aussies. I don't, them Aussies are built different. They're built different. So what might not be possible to them, to us, is possible for them. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my God! Sense when it comes to finding impaired drivers. Right, look at that. And at an RBT lineup in Newcastle. They're gonna get that. One moment's hesitation puts this driver under the spotlight. God damn. Just push him down the end. Just pulled up short. But with multiple units on standby, there's nowhere to run. God damn. Yeah, my name's Andrew Gilmore from Newcastle Highway Patrol. Have you had anything to drink this evening? I had. How many drinks have you had today, sir? I don't know. I had two bourbon and cokes at Shoal Bay Country Club around five o'clock. Yep. Mm. Um, is that all? No. Well, you've had a few more since then, have you? Oh, I've got a long neck here with me. And you've been drinking in the car, have you? I have. You understand that's an offence, sir? Why are you, are you honest? Oh. It'd be an honest, honest. I'm over, isn't it? No, you're not allowed to drink in a motor, any alcohol in a motor vehicle whatsoever. It's an offence. So where's the long neck? Yeah. How much of that have you had? Pull it out. It's nearly half gone. God damn! Damien bought a long neck mixer of bourbon and cola to keep him company on the three hour drive to Sydney. So you're drinking Woodstock bourbon whilst you're driving? That's not real good, is it? And that's just topping. That's half the bottle, bro. Oh my lord. Up on what he had at the club. When was your last sip? Probably about 15 minutes ago. Uh, is that the only other bourbon that you've consumed apart from the two at Shoal Bay? Yeah. All right. Having already admitted to drinking whilst driving, Damien is put straight on the tube. Damien, 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 your first one was telling on yourself. You take the test before you tell on yourself. Know what I'm saying? Don't, te don't tell on yourself. Don't do that. They, that's what they want you to do. Don't tell them. But don't drink a drop. Don't drink a drop. That's number one priority. Do not drink drops. Put your lips right around and blow. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not hard. Oh, yeah. Nice and steady. Right. Just pretend you're blowing up a balloon, but just nice and steady. You don't have to blow the extra. I would balloon. blow a balloon hard, though. Right, okay, and lips around, blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Thank you, that's fine. Officer Gilmore's gut instinct is that Damien will blow over. And the result shocks everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to make a U-turn to turn around and head the other way, but... I uh, really had nowhere to go in the end. Mm. Damien's moment of indecision may have been down to the bourbon he was necking on his 200k trip back to Sydney. And lips around, blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Thank you, that's fine. Damien's long journey home could now come to a screeching halt. Or maybe not. How can that be? That's what I don't understand. Ah, he said he surprised himself. <laughs> and Damien, stop acting like that. Damien, don't act surprised. You know what I'm saying? You should, you should be like, oh, yeah, that, that looks about right. I, I, I really didn't drink too much. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, that looks right. That looks right. <laughs> he said, Damien, give it a... How can that be? How is that possible? I'm, drink, I'm drinking so much. How can I blow in a zero? But... Definitely showing up zero. Regardless of the zero results, Officer Gilmore is not impressed. Why would you drink a drive? I'm going to Sydney, so I just thought. But why would you drink alcohol whilst you're driving? It's not going to intoxicate me. How do you know? He said it's Any not going to intoxicate alcohol, especially me. Especially that amount of alcohol. Yeah. It's going to have some effect. My guy said, "Look, hey, look, look at, look at your, look at your machine. Look at, look, look at your machine. Did it have an effect?" <laughs> Have you got a drinking problem? No. I dropped my daughter at Anna Bay and the bottle shop was there. I thought, oh, I just have a bourbon on my way to Sydney. All right. Suspicious the breathalyzer might be faulty, 
Officer Gilmore isn't taking any chances. I have to apologise, but I'm going to have to retest you. I believe that the, the machine that I've got, there might be something wrong with it, OK? Oh, I like the first reading. <laughs> I understand that. Look, what I need you to do, lips around Same again. and blow nice and steady. Go ahead now, blow. Let's see what we got. Keep going, stop now. Thank you. There's no way he gets another zero, zero, zero. Oh my God! He's a legend. Damien says he's had a drink. There's an open bottle of bourbon on the seat, and he's still blue zero. So could the drinking story be a red herring to mask something else? Ah, oh, dang! Nope. Nothing at all. Nope. It's just I'm looking at your eyes and they just don't look right. Ah, oh, dang, Damien. I just drove from Sydney to Newcastle, spent two hours with my daughter. Now I've got to drive home. Um, maybe you can test me for whatever. Damien, was you lying to me, Damien? The drinking was just a cover up, Damien? You were. Let's, let's find out. Yeah, Test that time. Substances whatsoever. No, mate, I've got to drive back, mate. No, that's not the issue. I'm saying a lot of people, they're tired, take illicit substances to make sure that they can drive further and further and further. No. In Newcastle, Damien was drinking bourbon at the wheel, but despite this, he's blown zero on two separate breathalysers, surprising both police and himself. Oh. But Officer Gilmore is not convinced. His eyes were slightly dilated. There's a possibility that he might have been under influence of something else. Uh, so therefore, it's always better to be safe and sorry. I don't want to put another person on the road that might be affected by some illicit drug and then put, you know, our families in, in jeopardy on the road. You haven't had any illicit substances whatsoever? No, mate, I've got to drive back home. No, that's not the issue. I'm saying a lot of people, they're tired, take illicit substances to make sure that they can drive further and further and further. No. Uh, here we go. Just so over here, Dickie. Just walk up here. If you do me a favour, just walk right across to those officers in a straight line and then turn around and come back for me. Thank you. In the absence of a drug testing kit, Police put oh, Damien through his paces. The that, that don't have that drug testing kit where you can like scrape his tongue or whatever. Fashioned way. All right. He walks straight. Just take your finger and point, close your eyes and try and point the end of your nose. All right. You seem okay. He I'm seem fine. good. Yeah. All right, mate. Look. <laughs> infringement for that and then you'll be on your way, but. How much is the infringement? Uh, three hundred and three dollars, oh, I think. think. Nah. No. Well, mate, you can't drink and drive. That's that's it's just silly. I'd be like, I blew a zero. I blew a zero. I understand that. It was a zero. Oh, we drink. We can't drink it on a motor vehicle. You could put yourself in a position where you do, Damien. You, know, you, could lose you told on yourself, Damien. If you haven't got a lid with that. Then I'd like you to dispose of it because I'm not going to let you drive with that in the car again and then take the bottle with you. Thank you very much. All right, mate. Expensive lesson. Oh, I think it should be an expensive lesson, mate. You put yourself at risk and others at risk by doing that, okay? okay. Nice to meet you, Andrew. I wish Lovely. Been under Take better it easy, mate. Take it easy. The last thing I was going to do was let him have that bottle so we can have another drink. Hopefully he's learnt from it. You told on yourself, Damien. You should have. You should have blew first, truth second. But uh, it was a lesson. Don't drink, drive, bro. So that's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy Dinia. Out.